Hockey Canada said in a statement on Wednesday the National Equity Fund would no longer be used to complete the claim of sexual violence immediately applies. On Monday, Perseda Perseda reported the existence of Canadian hockey funds, which were used to include insured obligations including potential claims for historical sexual harassment. Investigations issued by Globe and Mail on Tuesday revealed that the funds were built using revenue from the registration fee for small hockey. The news triggered further frustration of the organization, which had faced strict supervision because of its handling of charges of sexual violence in 2018. Then on Tuesday, a Canadian hockey spokesman confirmed to Sport Esnet the existence of the funds, which was said to be covering various costs related to safety, fitness and equity initiative in all of our organizations and including claims that are not borne by insurance policies, including related with physical injury, harassment, and sexual violations. In a statement of the follow, up on Wednesday, Hockey Canada said, recognizes that we have a significant job to be done to rebuild trust with the Canadian people and reaffirm the opening of full governance reviews by independent third parties. The next statement is read as follows. Effective immediately, national equity funds will no longer be used to complete sexual violence claims. Conversely, it will be exclusively dedicated to the initiative of safety, welfare and equity, as well as insurance throughout our organization activities consisting of 98% of that resources between 2014 and 2021. This includes counseling and care for players, a concussion research grant to Canadian Hockey League, Canadian hockey staff criminal records, donations for children's phones, as well as various safety initiatives including insurance for players and additional support for players who are experiencing physical injury. Canadian hockey also does that, in the future, all national equity funds resulting from the registration fee will be dedicated to the safety, welfare and equity initiative and insurance. Following the governance review, we will take additional steps that are recommended. If review determines that funds to support victims of sexual violence are needed, as well as in other sports organizations, we will ensure all claims are subject to the agreement from an independent third party. Canadians have been hard and clear, you expect our national sport and those who represent it for woe.